Hello and welcome to the first official video on Asia Now. This channel is going to be dedicated to making videos about top stories, top news from around the Philippines, Thailand, and other Southeast Asian countries that you might be traveling to and can use the information as a foreigner, as a local, anything to get you up to date about what's going on around Southeast Asia. Before we get started, do me a big favor, be one of the first subscribers on the channel, hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, let's jump into it. Our top stories today, Philippines president says that Filipinos do not yield. This is in response to China's recent aggression in the seas. Two Filipino environmental activists that were abducted in broad daylight last week have been located. Thailand passes a landmark marriage law that allows same-sex individuals to be married and much more. If you don't know, recently the Chinese Coast Guard ships have been using water cannons against resupply ships in the Philippines, right? Boats, actually civilian boats have been contracted to go ahead and resupply some of these missions in the Philippines. However, China's Coast Guard is making like some very dangerous maneuvers, pushing them out of the way, even making contact with the boats, also using water cannons to basically shoo away these supply boats. Now the president of the Philippines has said recently, and I quote, we seek no conflict with any nation, more so nations that purport and claim to be our friends, but we will not be cowed into silence, submission, or subservience. Filipinos do not yield. I'm curious to see what kind of measures he puts in place because I see no basically backing down from China. They've been doing stuff like this for a long time, not just in the ocean, but on land if you don't know, with Pakistan and uh, you know all these other countries, they always try to start shit. It just seems like, uh, excuse my language, but I'm, I'm going to be me on this channel, so I'm going to tell you my opinion on some of these stories. Um, you may take it whichever way you want, but I feel like China is always pushing the boundaries of playing in the gray area and like just testing people when they really shouldn't be. I, I do see this as an act of an aggression. If you saw these videos, would definitely agree so i'm personally curious to see what happens moving forward with this but the good thing is that a lot of nations are coming to the philippines side basically siding with the philippines of course the u.s has been a, a big big ally even recently india showed support and germany as well so a lot of nations are taking the philippines side and letting china know what you're doing is not right Environmental activists Jack and Eco were abducted in broad daylight last week. I quote, we are relieved to confirm that environmental rights defenders, church workers, Francisco Eco Dangla and Jack Tiong are no longer in the hands of their abductors. Bruised but alive, a fact finding team said. The team did not provide details about what happened to Dangla and Tiong during the time they were missing. I'm glad to hear that these people that spoke about what they believe in have been returned safely. Something that doesn't happen always in these situations, but very good news. Speaking of being returned and some more good news, 18 Filipino seafarers were returned to the Philippines from Iran. Iran has released all 18 Filipino seafarers held abroad the MV St. Nicholas that was seized in the Gulf of Oman in January after the managing agency that hired them was able to deploy their replacements. I quote, the Philippine government thanked the authorities of Iran for their understanding in this matter and appreciates the work of the manning agency which made this possible. Staying within the region, Thailand has passed a landmark marriage law. Thailand's parliament passed a landmark marriage equality bill. Once the law is approved by the Senate and the king, the country will become the first in Southeast Asia to legalize same-sex marriage. I feel like Thailand is like a land of uh, paradoxes, you know? Uh, they say there's no prostitution, even though it's like the biggest red light district in the world, but yet they go ahead and do this, and then they legalize marijuana and cannabis, and then, they, you know, if I'm, I'm very familiar with Thailand, I'd say, and they're, they're really, really, uh, they, they try to play this like balance game between perception, saving face, and actual practicality, if that makes any sense. Uh, let me know your thoughts on any of the stories I've shared so far. I would love to hear from you. Thailand is set to become the first Southeast Asian nation to legalize same-sex marriage after the country's House of Representatives overwhelmingly approved the marriage equality bill yesterday. The legislation got passed by 400 out of the 450 lawmakers present with only 10 voting against it. The decade long campaign for same sex marriage has now surmounted its most significant hurdle. While the law still requires approval from the Senate and endorsement from the King before it becomes law, the bill had the support of all Thailand's major parties and its passage is expected to proceed as a matter of course. Basically, they, they, they overcame the biggest hurdle. It's just formalities at this point. But once it's officially law, I'll go ahead and bring that to you guys at that point. And lastly, a uh, crazy, crazy story. Two crazy stories for me. First off is a story from United Airlines. Seems like there's always some kind of story when it comes to uh, flights and airports and airlines and all that. I'll tell you guys a story right now. 
United Airlines flight diverted after passengers tried to upgrade themselves to a business class. A United Airlines flight headed to Israel had to be turned around mid-flight due to disruptive passengers. Issues arose when the two passengers allegedly tried to help themselves to, to two unused business class seats. They reportedly refused to prove they had the tickets for the seats, sparking a heated argument. The flight was canceled after return to New York. Affected passengers were given a meal voucher, hotel accommodations, and arrangements to complete their journey. The unruly passengers were not charged as a result of the incident. Yeah, I don't know about you, but I'll be pissed if my flight got canceled because some idiot wanted to go ahead and upgrade themselves to first class or business class or whatever. Are you kidding me? I'll definitely be filing a lawsuit against these people or the airlines themselves. It's unacceptable. You can't just do that. I mean, I'm no perfect person. I've been on probably hundreds of flights at this point in my life. And yeah, like anybody else, I want to have as much room as possible. Sometimes I do it myself. I go on to like a next uh, seat across from me. If it's empty, nobody's sitting there or whatever. And the best I'm hoping for is the guy next to me doesn't show up. But never in my life would I go ahead and just, you know, help myself to a business class seat. And if you get caught, where's, come on, where's your self-respect? Out of embarrassment. And would you not consider everybody else on the flight? Imagine the level of like aggression or this craziness that had to be going on on the flight for them to turn around the plane and go back to New York. Anyway, that's insane. And that brings us to the end. Oh, oh, oh wait, 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 wait. I got one more. So this next act has got to be one of the most selfish acts I've ever seen in my entire life. I'll let you know right now the details are a bit graphic, but listen to this first. You committed the ultimate act of betrayal. Leaving your baby terrified alone, unprotected, to suffer what I heard was the most gruesome death imaginable. You left your baby, Jalen, trapped in a pack and play without food and water for 10 days. This wasn't simply an oversight. I'm gonna sentence you to life in prison without the possibility of parole. Unbelievable. I'm no parent, but I can never imagine leaving a child like that for 10 days while I'm out somewhere on a beach. Anyways, I'm going to save my my own sanity and not discuss. Uh, let me know your thoughts about any of the videos or stories we talked about today. I'd love to hear from you. If you enjoy this video, do me a big favor. Just subscribe to the channel. Hit that like button so more people can watch this. I'll see you guys in tomorrow's video.